I know our loyal Samoans are so yeah. when the rugby union spat with the World Cup with the money and that oh. it divided our work because we had older yeah. Samoan men and they were loyal to Sure. Yeah, yeah. That's right. And we the young guys, we're getting the news from you guys and, and John yeah. Campbell and that and then you know, they 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 really it did cause a divide. You yeah, know, for a, sure. You know, because we, we thought, well, we, we, we're getting the news and they're like, yeah. no, no, that's wrong, you know. Yeah, and quite often we'll get, I'll get, oh, it's so negative, you know. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm a reporter as well as the Pacific Correspondent. So as a reporter, I've got to tell what's newsworthy, right? But what I would say is that um, if we don't tell issues, if we don't, you guys understand this because I find the younger generation a bit more... Um, understanding I guess so if you don't tell issues if you don't confront it and put it there and bring it out in the open nothing changes nothing and so for me it's always being about um, putting those issues up even if it hurts like mm. it might hurt your your community your church your family your um, yourself like there's been times that I've copped a lot of flack um, but I'm a big girl, I can cope with it. But what, what I mean is that it's really important to confront those issues and to put them up there because if we don't, nothing changes. Like We live in a pretty dire sort of society some, some of the time. Not all the time. We also live in a beautiful society. But there are times that there's racism, there's um, people, you know, issues with... Um, scam artists like um, I've been working on this pyramid scheme that's been affecting a lot of our communities here in, um, is that there with the Tongan community it is the Tongan but that. then it's spread like so yeah. it's also in the Samoan community it's in the oh. Tuvalu community 